Hi students, how are you all? Welcome to the third part of the chapter Spherical Mirror. Already uh, two videos I made on this uh, chapter mirror. The link of both the videos are there in the description box. You should check that. Uh, and you should check that first, those two videos. After that, you should come to this third part. And in this third part, mainly we will discuss about different ray diagrams like we'll take a candle yes a burning candle will take and we'll place this candle in different position of a mirror yes first uh, we will take the mirror and then say this is my candle first i'll keep the candle far away and i'll see where the image is forming then i will place the candle nearer to the mirror and then we will change the position of the candle and we'll see where the image is forming okay we'll see that different size of the image or different positions of the image let us discuss that number one first of all what i'm doing i'm placing my candle candle means the object here okay i'm placing my candle far away means infinity far away from the mirror say so this is my mirror okay so where i'm placing my object i mean that candle far away means infinity that means my object is at infinity so object is at infinity okay so this is my mirror concave mirror we know that this is pole this is focus point focus point center of curvature and this is the principal axis so where i'm keeping my candle i'm keeping my candle far away and the rule of finding the image is we will take two rays from that candle yes we'll take two ray and we'll see where these two ray are meeting after reflecting by the mirror i repeat to find out the image we will take two rays from the object and both the ray will reflected by the mirror and after reflection where they are meeting there is the position of the image let's discuss that so this is the two rays are coming from the object here i am not showing the object i mean i am not drawing the object that candle i am not drawing why because the candle is far away from the mirror it's far away okay object is at infinity understood now these two rays are coming from that object now these two rays are parallel to the principal axis we know from the first sorry from the second part of the video yes we discussed in the second part of this video we discussed that when these two rays are parallel to the principal axis that after reflection where will they meet focus point yes this will pass through focus point we already discussed in the second part of this video and this will also pass through here so both the rays after reflection by the mirror where are they meeting yes at focus point both the rays are intersecting at focus point so here the image is forming understood so image is forming here this is the position of the image so where the object object is at infinity where is the image image is at focus now we will write something about the image where the image is forming image formed image formed 
एट फोकस फाइन एंड वन मोर इंफॉर्मेशन वी हैव टू से अबाउट दिस इमेज विच साइड द इमेज इज फॉर्मिंग दिस साइड और दैट साइड यस इमेज इज फॉर्मिंग दिस साइड बिकॉज दिस इज द मिरर सी दिस इज द मिरर विच साइड इमेज इज फॉर्मिंग दिस साइड वेन द इमेज फॉर्म्स दिस साइड वी कॉल इट रियल इमेज सो वील राइट रियल इमेज understood if the image is forming that side that is called virtual image so here we made real images forming now number 2 this is the mirror and this is the optical center we know that and what is this line called this line is principal axis x y Fine. This line is principal axis. Now, where is center of curvature? This is center of curvature. This is focus point, and we know that focus point is exact midpoint of OC. Now, where is my candle? So this is my candle. I am keeping the candle here now. So this is my object. First case, object was at infinity. Second case. object is beyond center of curvature okay so we'll write here object beyond center of curvature means just behind the center of curvature so the rule is same to find out the image first we will take two rays from the object got it this two ray will take to the mirror and they will be reflected by the mirror after reflection where are they meeting that is the position of the image let's see so first of all this is the ray going which is parallel to the principal axis and we know from the second part of this video when the ray is parallel to the principal axis that will pass through focus point yes like this okay when a ray is going to the pole by making the same angle it will pass like this correct so where this rays are meeting i mean intersecting this point so here the image will produce how like this this is the image now see this is the object and this is the image understood this is the way you have to find out the image and after showing the position of the image you have to write something about the image the way we have written in the previous case so let's write it where you are obtaining the image the image is in between center of curvature and focus so let's write it image formed formed between center of curvature and focus center of curvature and focus got it which side image is forming this side or that side yes image is forming this side so it is real image real image correct now tell me one more thing just see the height of the image or the size of the image is it smaller than the size of the object or it is bigger than the size of the object size of the image is smaller than the object see object is of this height this is the height of the object okay and what is the height of the image only this much okay so which is bigger object is bigger image is smaller so when the image is smaller we call it diminished image so diminished so my image is diminished fine one more thing the object is upright see object is upright but the image is this way okay opposite downward no image is 
upward, but the image is downward. For this type of image, we call it inverted image. Okay? We'll write inverted image. Understood? If you see the image is also like this, like object upward, image is also upward. We'll call it erect image. But here the image is this way. So we'll call it inverted image. Fine. Next case. Again we have to draw a concave mirror. This is the concave mirror. Okay. Optical center. Principal axis. Center of curvature. Focus point. Fine. Now we will keep our object at center of curvature. And now I am not going to draw a candle. Okay. Just I will draw like this. This is the candle. Fine. Now from this candle. This is number 3. So where I am keeping my object? Object is at center of curvature. Fine. First case. Object was at focus point. Second case. Object is beyond center of curvature. Now object is at center of curvature. So object is at C. Center of curvature. Same way. Two rays will come out from the object. They will be reflected by the mirror. Where they are intersecting. That is the position of the image. Same rule. So from here. First ray is coming out. Which is parallel to the principal axis. Where it will go? Yes. Through focus. So that is going through focus. Correct. Next ray is going to the pole. Where it will go? By making the same angle, it will pass. So it is also going C. Yes. Where are they intersecting? Here they are intersecting. So this is the position of the image. Understood? So where you have got the image? At center of curvature. That means when you are placing your object at center of curvature, where you are getting your image? At center of curvature. So image is at center of curvature. Understood? Now tell me, it's a real image or virtual image? Which side image is forming? This side. So it's a real image. Now, this is um, a diminished image or enlarged image. See, this is the height of the image. This much. Sorry, this is the height of the object. Height of the object. And this is the height of the image. Yes, both are same. Both are same. So when you are placing your object at center of curvature, you are getting equal sized image. Size of the image and size of the object are equal. So size of the object equal to size of the image. Size of the image. Okay. Now, object you placed upright this way. Fine. How you are getting the image? Yes, this way. You gave to your object this way, but you are getting the image this way. We call it inverted image. So it's inverted image. Understood? Let's see the next case. Number four. Object is in between C and F. Like this is the mirror. Optical center. Principal axis. This is center of curvature. This is focus point. Fine. Where we are placing the object now? First when we placed at infinity. Then beyond center of curvature. Then center of curvature. Now between center of curvature and focus. So this is the object now. Fine. So from the object again two rays are going. First ray is parallel. 
that will pass through focus point got it second ray is going to the pole and by making the same angle that will come out like this where are they intersecting here are they intersecting so this is the image so this is my object and this is my image understood now let us write the uh, something about that image now where you are getting the image yes beyond center of curvature so image is beyond center of curvature understood it's a real or virtual image it's a real image because image is forming this side it's a real image okay now uh, uh, see the size of the image this is the size of the image but this is the size of the object which is bigger image is bigger so it's an enlarged image enlarged okay it's an enlarged image now uh, if i ask you it's an erect or inverted this object is upright but the image is this way so this is erect no say this is the object upright but this is the image okay so this is inverted image inverted understood so all this we can say about the nature of this image now let us discuss the next condition number 5 we will keep our object now at focus point let's see number 5 object is at focus so this is my mirror understood so where is the object at focus point so this is the object again two ray will go from the object this is the first ray is going okay so after reflecting by the mirror that will pass through focus point okay next ray is going to optical center with the same angle it will come out okay are these two ray meeting no so do you get a image here no but you will get an image yes you can say that this ray will meet at infinity yeah far away from the mirror understood this ray which is not meeting here this ray will be meeting far away okay so where you are getting your image you are getting your image at infinity so let us write it so image is at infinity fine number 2 this image is real or virtual since the image is forming this side at infinity that side so this is real image real fine now what is the size of the image see if it meets here say i am saying that the ray is meeting at infinity say this is the position of infinity and here they are meeting so you will get this image yeah this is the image you will get so see this is the size of the object and this is the size of the image so you can see the size of the image is much much higher than the size of the object no size of the image is much much higher than the size of the object so this type of image is called highly enlarged so it is not only enlarged it's highly enlarged so highly enlarged image you can say it highly magnified yes that word also can be used highly magnified correct now again the object is upright but 
this is the image so this is the object but this is the image so this is inverted image inverted understood and you know what this condition is opposite of first case how in first case object was at infinity and image is at focus and in this case object is at focus and image is at infinity that's why i'm saying this fifth case is just opposite of first case now let us check our last case case number 6 in this case object is in between focus and the pole so object is in between focus and the optical center that is pole this is case number 6 so again this is the mirror and this is the principal axis pole focus point center of curvature got it and uh, so where we are keeping our object between focus and center of curvature focus and sorry focus and pole here we are keeping yes focus and pole so this is my object now so again two rays are going the first ray is going parallel that will pass through focus correct again another ray is going to the pole that will by making the same angle that will come out this way so see here these two rays are going this way do you think that they will meet at infinity no there is no chance because these two rays are going like this so when two rays are going one ray is going like this another ray is going like this means this way they are diverting both the rays are diverting this way so you can't expect that they will meet at infinity so they are not meeting at infinity but still you will get an image how let's see you have to produce this line like this and this also and you will see that they are meeting here okay so this is my image so this is my object and this is my image understood this case is different no because this is the only case where you are getting a virtual image from number 1 to 5 in all the cases we got real image this is the only case where we are getting a virtual image not only virtual you are also getting an upright image erect image understood let's write it so where you are getting the image image is back of the mirror <clears throat> image is beyond the mirror beyond the mirror understood beyond the mirror and it's a real or virtual yes virtual that side it's a virtual image <clears throat> and it's an erect image also because this way image object is upright the image is also upright so it's a erect image the only case where we have got the erect image understood and uh what can you say about the size of the object and the image is the size of the image higher than the object yes much much higher than the object so highly enlarged highly enlarged understood so with this condition we have we have finished all the cases here we have seen we have placed our object in different position six different position we placed our object and we saw where the image is forming and we also saw that how to say the 
नेचर ऑफ द इमेज फॉर्म नेचर ऑफ द इमेज मीन्स वेर द इमेज इज फॉर्मिंग इज इट रियल और वर्चुअल इज इट एनलास्ट और डिमिनिस्ड और इट इज इरेक्ट और इन्वर्टेड आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड डायग्राम्स आर इजी बट यू आर रिक्वेड टू प्रैक्टिस दिस फाइन सो विल मेट इन द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस वीडियो थैंक यू